Hey everyone, it's Lara from OurOilyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a homemade toilet cleaning bomb. I'm calling this a bomb because it's very similar to bath bombs, so I don't really know what to call this, but what it is, is it is a little like pod thing. I know you can buy these at the store that you can just throw into your toilet and it's like a hands off toilet cleaning thing. So super cool because who here likes to scrub toilets? All you need for this recipe is a cup of baking soda, a fourth of a cup of citric acid. Then I also have in this spray bottle some of my liquid dish soap recipe that I've shared. You don't necessarily have to use this kind. You just need any type of dish soap. It can be um, any kind that you find at the store. I like this because it's all natural and you can add water if you are using a thicker dish soap because you want to be able to come out of your spray bottle. And then I have an essential oil here. I'm using lemon. You could use lime. Tea tree oil would also be good for cleaning. I just love that fresh lemon smell. And then you need either these little bath bomb molds, which I will link these down in the description below, or you can even use this in a different type of like silicone mold. To get started, we are just going to put a cup of baking soda in this mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add in my quarter of a cup of citric acid. Now for this next step, you're only going to use about a tablespoon of this liquid dish soap. But I like to put it in a spray bottle because then I'm just going to mist this and I'm going to start mixing it together with my hands because we don't want to get too liquidy because you'll see as you put this in, it has a little bit of a fizzy reaction to it, which is good because that's what it's going to do and how it's going to work to clean your toilet but we don't want to get it soaked. So I'm just going to kind of mix it with my hands. I want the mixture to be able to hold together whenever I ball it up, but I don't want it to be soaked. So it's about a tablespoon of liquid for this amount, but I just mist it on here and I just continue to stir it until I get the right texture. So you can see here that this is holding together pretty well and that is right where we want to be. Now I'm going to add in my essential oils. I'm going to do about 30 drops of essential oil and I'm doing all lemon and then I'm just going to mix this up so it's all well combined in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack these into my bath bomb molds. And then I'm just going to set them aside and let them completely dry. So I put some on both the top and bottom and then squeeze them together here. To use your bath bomb molds, you are just going to take one and toss it into the toilet and then as it fizzes in there, it's going to help to remove any yucky, dirty, grimy stuff there in your toilets. You just toss one in, let it fizz down. Now I'm not a plumber, but I personally let it fizz down completely before flushing the toilet. And in fact, I like to just sit in there. I feel like the longer it's in there, the cleaner it gets. So no reason to just put it in flush it, let it fizz out, even let it soak in there for a little bit. And then if you have extra like bad stains on your toilet and it needs maybe a little extra love, you can then take your scrub brush and clean out around in there. And the best part, whenever they fizz out, it kind of gets that lemony smell throughout your bathroom. So it's a great thing to do before you have company over. If you want to have your bathroom smelling nice and looking good, just toss one of these in the toilet. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. If you are looking for more essential oil education, I have a free online class that I have linked down in the description below, just where I talk about 
all the different ways that we use essential oils in our home and just how they have kind of taken over our medicine cabinet and our cleaning products and all different types of tips and tricks on that. So thank you so much for stopping by our oily house. Thank you.